Hi everyone, it's Sandy and today I decided to film a non-bookish related video because I just wanted to get a little bit personal and talk about things that have been happening in my life. So first off, I'm sure you're noticing that I am wearing glasses. I was recently contacted by a company called Firmu and they asked if they could send me a pair of glasses in exchange for an honest review. I usually wear contacts during the day and then I would switch to glasses at night and these are my old pair of glasses. I don't know if you can like really see them but these are my old ones and I've had them for four years so it's about time that I got new ones. After seeing all the options on Firmu, I obviously had to say yes. Firmu sent me a code where I could get free glasses with 1.50 index lens. Unfortunately, I have very bad vision, so the 1.50 index lens doesn't fit my prescription. So I decided to pay the extra $20 to get the lens that were suitable for my prescription. And honestly, after receiving these glasses, I can say that the $20 was so worth it. If I didn't receive a code from Firmu and I decided to just buy glasses by myself, these glasses would have cost forty to fifty dollars which is really inexpensive for a pair of good quality glasses I've looked through Firmu's website and they have many options with really affordable prices I really like that the glasses that I have is really lightweight the old pair of glasses that I have were pretty heavy so after wearing them for a while I would feel uncomfortable and want to take them off it was really easy to place an order my prescription is correct and you can either upload your prescription or manually fill it in on Firmu's website I've always wanted bigger frames and I'm really happy with the ones I got I know that they they look pretty big with my head and my face shape but I really like the look my glasses actually came in two weeks after I placed the order which is about the same time it would take for me to get new contacts my glasses came in with this glasses case and a glasses bag and inside the bag there are extra nose pads and screws and it also came in with an extra repair tool so this would be very helpful in case I need it Firmu also gave me a code to give to you guys for a free pair of glasses with 1.50 index lens if you happen to be searching for a new pair of glasses I will leave a link down below with a variety of options that you can select from. Also, if you make YouTube videos and you would like to work with Firmu, I will also leave a link down below where you can submit an application to work with them. So the code for the free pair of glasses and all the links that I mentioned will be down below in the description box. So moving on to something exciting that happened to me yesterday. Right now I'm filming on October 10th, so this happened to me on the 9th. And I went to see Hamilton. If you are not familiar with Hamilton, which I don't understand how that's possible, but Hamilton is a musical following Alexander Hamilton. There are shows in Chicago now, which is where I live, so obviously I had to get tickets and see the show because I love Hamilton. I went to the matinee show, which was at 2 p.m. I got there like at 1.20 and I was opening my phone to get onto the Ticketmaster app so I can get in because my ticket was like an e-ticket and the internet on my phone was just not working. I couldn't get on Twitter, I couldn't get on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat chat whatever I was panicking for a good 15 minutes I was freaking out oh my god why isn't anything loading my ticket was on the Ticketmaster app and if I can't get that to load then I can't get in so after 15 minutes of panicking I decided to go to the ticket booth and I talked to the lady about how I couldn't get anything to load she asked for my debit card that I paid the ticket for and I gave it to her and luckily she printed out my ticket so when I finally received my physical ticket, a weight was lifted off my chest. I was so scared that I would miss the show because I couldn't get in, which would be so, so sad and disappointing. I don't know why I'm still holding this, so I'm put it down. The show was really great. Obviously, I don't think anything can compare to the original cast. All the Chicago actors were there except for the person that was playing Alexander Hamilton. The person that was supposed to play Alexander Hamilton was Miguel Cervantes. I don't know how to say his last name, but it was a different person playing him. There was just some people where I felt like like they didn't have the heart and the spirit of the character that I pictured when listening to the soundtrack so that was a little bit disappointing but I still think it was a really great show it's a little bit unfair to compare these people with the original cast because I have listened to the original soundtrack so many times it was very different I wasn't used to it so it's unfair to say that they weren't good I think they were good but obviously nothing will be as good as the original cast my favorite person in the show is Chris Lee aka the person that played Lafayette and Jefferson I definitely think he captured the spirit of Lafayette and Jefferson and I was also pretty surprised by the person that played Eliza I believe her name is Ari Afsar I especially loved her performance when she sang that would be enough take a break best of wives and best of women and who lives who dies who tells 
tells her story. She was amazing in that one especially. So my seat was on the mezzanine level. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's like the second level and I was sitting all the way in the back. I was the very last row in the left center. So I will insert like a picture of my view from the seat. And in the picture, the stage looks really far away, but once all the actors and actresses are on the stage, they weren't that far away. I could see what was going on, but since I'm short, I had to like sit up a little and lean forward a little just to see a little bit more. And I am so glad that I got to experience that. I know that the musical was filmed with the original cast and it's locked up somewhere. So I don't know how long it'll take for us to get to see the full musical with the original cast, but I will be waiting. I almost forgot to mention this, but after Hamilton ended, during Hamilton, people were entering the theater with plastic cups that they can buy and the cup said Hamilton on it. I really wanted one, but I decided to wait till after Hamilton ended to go buy one. But after Hamilton ended, there weren't anyone at the counter. So I was like, dang it. But then I decided to look in a trash can to see if anyone happened to throw away a Hamilton plastic cup and I saw one. So I decided to reach into the trash can and I got this cup. I don't understand why someone would throw this away. It's a plastic cup that says Hamilton on it. You might have noticed it sitting on my bookshelf, the past video. It has a lid where you can like open it up and drink it like coffee. So yeah, I can't get to the lid to stay on properly. I don't know how to close it. I'm scared that if I like push it on too hard that I'll end up breaking it. So right now the lid is just on it and it's not like secure tightly. Yeah, but I'm really glad that I decided to just reach in the trash and grab one out. I was trying to do it secretly, but I'm sure someone saw me doing it. Honestly, I don't care. I'm just glad that I have this plastic souvenir cup. So now moving on from Hamilton, I wanted to talk about some of the TV shows that I've been watching. Okay, I hate that all the TV shows that I watch comes back in the fall and in the fall is when I start school. So obviously I don't have time to keep up with all these TV shows and there is a handful of TV shows that I've been watching. So right now I've been watching Grey's Anatomy, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Criminal Minds, New Girl, Scream Queens, and Once Upon a Time. At the end of October I know that The Vampire Diaries and The 100 will come back on and I'm excited for them. With TV shows it's so easy to get spoiled with what's going on and I hate that so I try to watch each episode as fast as I can so I don't get spoiled but I know that the rest of the semester is going to be very busy. I have a lot of papers due and I have midterms going on. I don't know how I'm going to keep up with watching each episode. I personally think that Grey's Anatomy should have ended a while ago but I still like to watch it because I want to know what's going on with the characters. I do not like the current season. All the storyline in this season is just terrible. I hate it but I'm still gonna watch Grey's Anatomy. I've watched so many seasons already so like I should continue watching it. Especially excited for Vampire Diaries to come back on. It is the last and final season. If you watch any of these TV shows, let me know in the comments below. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about college. The first month of my sophomore year has been fine, but October is like the month of midterms. So I have a handful of exams in October. I've been struggling. I have so much reading to do this semester that I haven't been reading any books for personal enjoyment lately. Or if I am, it's been taking me weeks to read a book. Right now I've been reading Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo and I'm still not done with it. It's been almost two weeks since I picked it up. So whenever I'm not like writing a paper or studying for an exam, I'm usually reading a textbook. I like most of my classes. There is one class in particular that I really don't like. But in that class my professor just opens up the textbook and starts reading from it and I'm just like, are you kidding me? In that class, all I do is listen to my professor talk. There's no PowerPoint and it's just a really dull class. The quizzes in the class are really difficult. Each are worth 10 points, but the class is out of 100 points. So every single point in that class is one percentage of my grade. And I hate it so much. The quizzes are online so we could use our textbooks and our notes but the questions are so difficult. The quiz questions are formatted linearly so once you answer a question you can't go back and change your answer and I hate that because while I'm going through the quiz I will like find something that would help me with the previous question but I can't go back and change my answer which is really frustrating. I also have a paper due in that class in November so I gotta get started on that because it's a long one and it's going to take up a lot of time. I'm trying not to get overwhelmed by everything that I have to do. All my other classes are fine, it's just that one class that I have a big problem with. That's everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. If you want to see me doing more of these types of videos, let me know in the comments because I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!